name's Steve Rosenberg, and I want to thank you for tuning in to my very first episode, High Stakes with Steve Rosenberg. Now, during this podcast series, we're going to be doing several things, but main things we're going to be talking about are real business, real life, and more importantly, real solutions. The reason I want to talk about these things is I have learned from owning a business myself that it can be pretty scary, you know, when you own a business. There's no one actually there to give you a manual, or at least there wasn't for me, that would tell me, hey, Steve, this is how you grow your business. This is how you scale your business. And more importantly, this is how you become happy being a business owner, working tireless nights, doing all the things that you think you should be doing. But in reality, we're just guessing. I, there's no one there to actually guide you and show you. And at least there wasn't for me. And that's what I want to give to people. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my background and how I got to where I am today. But just to give you some insight, I took a business from nothing, created the idea, and I built, scaled, grew, and eventually sold a fastest growing property management company in the state of Texas. Let me tell you a little bit about my background and where I came from. So my background, when I was a young kid, I really didn't want to do anything else except one thing when I grew up. I wanted to have a job. And that job was a career called an airline pilot. Now, at 25 years old, I got hired as one of the second youngest people hired at a major airline. And I had the dream job. I had the job of a lifetime. It's flying all over the world. I had the most safe and most secure job you can imagine. I mean, think about it. I'm 25 years old, I'm flying around the globe, and I had the best job that you could ever imagine as an airline pilot until the day that I crashed. Wait a second, I didn't crash. The whole world crashed. And the day that the whole world crashed, you may know as 9-11. Well, to me, 9-11 was a very pivotal point in my life, uh, not only for the loss of lives and all the tragedy, but that was a turning point for me and a shake into reality. Because what happened 48 hours after the towers fell, I received my furlough notice from the airline. And I was told basically, hey, Steve, you know what? Thanks for being this great employee. But you know what? That's safe. And that secure job that you thought you had. Well, you know what? It was never safe. And it was never secure. So you're about to be on the street with 50,000 other pilots, so good luck. I, I will tell you that that was a very scary moment in my life. I was scared, I was nervous, and I just got punched in the face harder than I could ever imagine. And I gotta tell you, there was no one there to tell me what to do. And unfortunately, when you go your whole life trying to be one thing, which was an airline pilot, that's all I trained to do. I didn't know how to do anything else. I wasn't even skilled to drive a truck. And I remember having to go home and tell my wife that I wasn't qualified to do anything because the dream job that I thought I had, it was a lie. It was an illusion. And at that moment, I realized I had to do something else. So what I did is I focused on two major things. The first thing was learning about real estate. I did everything that I could to learn as much as possible about real estate. I read a book a week. I did all the courses all the mentoring. I did everything I could do to be successful in real estate. And about 80% of the thing I did, I got punched in the face. I got lied to. I got cheated. I got stolen from, but I kept getting back up. And the reason was, is I didn't have a choice. I had to figure out a way to live and survive. And I knew, I knew deep down real estate was going to be the way to do it. Now, the other thing I focused on was learning how to build a business because I knew that I needed to have revenue coming in from a business to buy real estate. And I knew that with that combination, I could be very successful and I would never have to rely on a employer again. And over the next 20 years, I learned how to buy, sell, flip, wholesale real estate. I've done hundreds of transactions in real estate. I've become one of the most known influencers in the real estate world. But then I turned my attention on building a business. And I learned how to actually run a true business. I learned about sales. I learned about marketing, operations. And yes, I even learned some accounting, um, which I didn't think I'd ever want to do. But I learned all these things because I learned that all businesses run under the same chassis. 
whatever your business is, you have marketing, you have sales, you have operations, and you have accounting. And what I'm gonna do during this show, during this series, is I'm gonna bring on some of the most influential business people to talk about how they build their businesses and how you're gonna be able to relate to them. Whether it's a, a influencer, a speaker, a real estate investor, a roofing contractor, pool, doesn't matter what they do. We're gonna break down their business, find out where their weaknesses were. We're gonna find out what their challenges are. And then we're gonna see how they overcame them. Because the one thing that you'll understand from me and you'll learn during this series is the people that are successful, they understand that they are going to fail. There's no doubt they will fail, just like you will fail if you haven't already. But you actually start looking for that failure. You start going after the failure and you start actually embracing it. Because the sooner you fail, the sooner you can get back up and you know what not to do. And that was one of the things I learned that was very valuable to me in the real, in the, uh, real estate business, but also in the business world was how to do that. And that's what I want you to learn. I want you to see the trends. There is a recipe for people that are successful. It's like baking a cake, right? When you bake a cake, you don't put the frosting on first and then put it in the oven. Same ingredients, but it's put on the wrong way. Same thing with building a business. You build a business a certain way, and we're gonna talk about how to build the business correctly, and I'm gonna go into different models and different markets and show you that it's all the same, whether you're in a certain field, a certain industry, certain geographical location, it doesn't matter. United States, Australia, Canada, all businesses work the same, and that's what I wanna show you. And I think it's important that you realize that you're not alone out there. There's people just like me who have learned who have failed, who have learned again, and eventually mastered the art of being a successful person so that you could actually have the life that you wanna have. Because now I have the life I wanna have. I make enough money, I get to travel the world, I get to do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. And I'm gonna bring people on that are close personal friends and other people that I wanna meet, that I wanna interview, and I wanna pick their brains. And that's what I'm gonna show you how you can do that. And I'm gonna be one of the first people that brings it in from an airline pilot's perspective because that's how I built my business from running it the same way airlines do. And I'm gonna talk a lot of in my podcast shows about how airlines run businesses because when you look at an airline business, you will see how simplistic, how concise, and how almost foolproof their systems are so that a plane can fly anywhere in the world and they know it's not only gonna land, but it's gonna take off again in a certain amount of time and everyone's gonna be safe, secure, and they're gonna get to their destination. That's how you wanna think of your customers and that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna break down the marketing strategies, we're gonna break down sales strategies and the operations because again, I want you to learn not only what you do specifically in your vertical, but the overall structural procedure of your business from the 30,000 foot view, because I think it's so important. Sometimes we need to detach from our business and we need to really look at what we're doing from a bird's eye perspective to be that true leader, to be the CEO, not to be the manager that's pushing people around, telling them if they don't do this, they're fired, but how does the CEO do things? How does a leader inspire people? How do people that have gone before you in this industry or other industries, how have they done that? Because to me, that's the most important thing is understanding what other people have done and just duplicate it, you know? And that's what I want you to learn in this. So again, this was a very quick introduction. Please make sure that you subscribe to this podcast show. Like I said, I'm gonna bring on some very, very well-known names, as well as people you don't know of that are just kind of sleeping, but they are super successful in what their formula is so that you can tie that into your own successful recipe and you can bake your own cake uh, of success if you eat cake, if not, then whatever you make. Uh, but I wanna make sure that you learn that. So again, this is gonna be all about real business, real life and real solutions. And I want you to understand that because every business owner goes through very similar things that you are probably going through right now, but the ones that are successful have figured out a way to get around that. And that's what I wanna show you. So again, High Stakes with Steve Rosenberg, make sure that you subscribe to this so you get all of my content, all of my videos. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Instagram channel, all that where I constantly am delivering a lot of very valuable information so that you can learn as well. So I'll see you on the first episode of High Stakes with Steve Rosenberg. Thank you again.